Our next interview question is what is the difference between a false positive and a false negative? Also, give an example where false positive is more important than false negative and vice versa. Okay, again a very interesting question. So, in the first part, we'll discuss the difference between a false positive and a false negative. Okay, so all of this is related to classification. So, we'll take an example. Let's say we are building a model which can do uh, COVID prediction based on symptoms. It will tell whether a patient has COVID or not. That's the model that we are going to build. Okay. Now, uh, see what can happen is there could be four scenarios. So what I will do is uh, I'll create four columns. The first one is prediction. The second one is actual. The third one is nature. And the fourth one is name. I'll tell you what these columns mean. So while building this uh, model, there could be four scenarios. The first scenario is that the patient has COVID. Okay. In reality, he has COVID. And we have predicted that he has COVID. So we have correctly predicted. So we can write the nature of our prediction is correct. The second scenario would be that the patient does not have COVID. And we also predicted that he does not have COVID. Again, the nature of the prediction would be correct. We have correctly predicted right now the third case would be that the patient has covid but our model predicted that he does not have covid and in this case the prediction is incorrect okay sorry for the handwriting and the fourth scenario would be that the patient does not have covid but our prediction model says that the patient has covid again a mistake so incorrect okay so these are the possible four scenarios uh, in a binary classification setup this is a binary classification setup okay now we have a name for all of these scenarios okay so what i have done is i have uh, shown you this image so it this image is basically a representation of this table only if you think properly if you see the image you would see that this image is actually a representation of this table okay so over here we have predictions over here we have actual values okay now let's find out there are four blocks let's find out the block where prediction has a value of one and actual has a value of one and you can see it is this block and this is called true positive Okay, next prediction zero, actual zero, and you can see it is this block, and this is called true negative. Now let's find out where prediction is zero and actual is one. So it is this block, and this is called as false negative. Okay, and the last one is actual is zero, so actual is zero and uh, prediction is one prediction is one so this is the fourth one and we call it false negative so false positive and false negative are nothing but the nature of misclassification you can perform you can perform two types of misclassification and one of them is false negative and the other one is false positive so if you remember this table and this image, you will never do a mistake in the concept of false positive and false negative. So I hope you are uh, un you understood the concept of these two values. Now let's move on to the second part of the question where uh, we have been asked to give a scenario where false positive is more important than false negative. Okay. 
so we have to provide a scenario where false i'm sorry i have there is a mistake this is this is false positive this is false positive okay so we have a, we have to give a scenario where this error is more important or rather we should say crucial than false negative okay so let's take a scenario where um, we are doing email spam classification we are doing email spam classification so we are trying to build a classification model which can classify an incoming mail into spam or not spam so over here you can do two kinds of mistakes the first mistake that you can do is that your email is uh, not spam or rather we should write it like this just give me one second so our email is spam and our prediction is not spam and the second mistake is that the incoming email is not spam but our prediction is spam so these are the two mistakes that we can do in this problem okay now you can clearly identify this is by the way the actual value and this is the predicted value actual predicted okay so you can clearly see if you see the first one you can see actual is one and uh, predicted is zero so this is a case of false negative whereas this is the case of false positive now if you think carefully you would see that in this scenario false positive is more crucial than false negative because in false positive what you are doing is you are labeling a correct email as spam so you are sending it to the spam folder so imagine a scenario that you got placement in a company and that company sent you uh, the joining details and your email client classified that email as spam and sent it to the spam folder and you were not able to see that email and you will not be able to join the company imagine the stakes are so high whereas in this case the mail was spam but our email client could not classify it as spam and it was sent to the normal folder so even that even in that case nothing uh, much happens you just see the folder uh, spam and you just uh, spam it like you put it into the spam folder yourself okay so you can see the stakes are high in this case in comparison to the second one and this is a scenario where false positive is more important or rather crucial than false negative okay so that is the first part of the question regarding this opposite scenario let's see a classification of cancer detection let's say we are building a model for cancer detection again we will do two kinds of mistake so let's say actual is patient has cancer and predicted was zero no cancer whereas the second kind of mistake is the patient does not have cancer but predicted with cancer diagnosed with cancer okay so again this is a scenario of false negative and this is a scenario of false positive and you can clearly see this is common sense that false negative in this case is more crucial than false positive why because in this case the patient has cancer but it was not diagnosed so 
this is ill information the patient will not be informed with the problem and he'll just be <laughs> chilled and he'll go away he'll not uh, get the medication and he will not get the care and he may die so the stakes are very high in this case whereas in this case <laughs> the patient may get a heart attack after hearing that he has cancer but after multiple uh, tests you would get the correct answer so the stakes are low so this is a case cancer detection where uh, false negative is more important than false positive okay so i hope you get the answer